I think this is another thing that we need to change the conversation on is men don't talk. Like, you know... Well, that messaging is wrong. Exactly. The mental health messaging directly towards men is just fucking... And that, I'm, from wherever I'm, it comes from, it's terrible. I, so. so for me, men might be less likely to talk, but they still can. Because there's loads of people that do. You, you know, you talk about it, I talk about it. So... That's a hundred percent of the people in this room right now. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, go on. I interrupted you. No, no, no. It's all right. I can't. Remember, I can't. Remember what you're saying. Oh, the um, the the femininity on the on the subject of yeah. well, men talking. Yeah, yeah. Like, like your point. Yeah, we do talk. What men what men don't commonly do is talk openly about their feelings to other men. Guaranteed, men do it to women in certain circumstances, but not so much to, to other men. Go on. So I'd actually challenge that slightly, but I think the way men do it is, I nickname it a micro disclosure. You know, the conversation goes like this. I say, how's it going, Hugh? And you go, oh, yeah, you know, I'm all right. Um, I've been a bit stressed about X, Y, or Z, but, you know, the, it is what it is. And then I go, yeah, it's shit, in it? And then we move on. But you've told me, you've physically told me. So rather than going... Okay, let's talk. That's in my eyes all that's required. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about it? 